William Hastings was given the Manor of Ashby and other lands and manors in 1462. At the time, what later became the castle was a fairly modest medieval manor house. But William had grand ideas for improving it. Work began on extensions in 1472 and, because he was a favourite of King Edward IV, in 1474 he received a licence to crenellate. This meant that he could convert the manor house into a castle and his grand ideas could really take off. But, in those days, keeping up with the Joneses didn't always end well. So, my simple-minded little building person. Yes, my lord. As you can see from the drawings, the centrepiece of the project shall be one magnificent tower. Just the one, my lord. A tower to match any in the kingdom. A symbol of my importance in society and of my influence with the king. I dare say that I shall be the top. What do you mean, just the one? Oh, nothing, my lord. Right. Well, as I was saying, I shall construct one magnificent tower. One tower will be perfect, my lord. You see, there it is again. There's something in your tone. It's the way you say one. Well, I beg your pardon, my lord. Nothing meant by it. Right. Well, as I was saying, I shall construct... Only the other day, I was um, discussing with the Duke of Gloucester a ground floor extension. You were discussing a <clears throat> ground floor extension with the Duke of Gloucester? Yes, my lord. A ground floor extension? The Duke of Gloucester. And? And well, I just happened to mention quite by chance, of course, that you were intending to build a, a magnificent tower that would mark you out as a man of, um, well. Yes. Well, not to put too fine a point on it, uh, it seemed clear even to an uneducated man like myself um, that a lord with one magnificent tower would surely be seen to be, uh, yes. um, well, um, yes. well uh, more important than a man with a ground floor extension. Although a very nice one at that. Mm. You're not as stupid as you look, are you? Oh, very nice of you to say, me look. And what was Gloucester's response? Well, he seemed quite upset, really, about your one impending magnificent tower. Mm. Well, in fairness to Gloucester, if I were constructing only a ground floor extension, I shall be upset as well. Oh. Credit to the joke. Uh, he did ask me to quote him on uh, two towers. Two towers? Big ones at that. In fact, he did stress that they should be bigger than yours. Mm. Did he now? Mm. In a nice sort of way. Mm. <laughs> did he indeed? Well, I said to him at the time, you know, t towers isn't everything. Oh, well, precisely. Although um, it sort of is, isn't it, if you want uh, power and influence of course, with the king, God bless him. <laughs> it's hard to imagine anyone uh, with anyone with less than two towers. Fewer. Beg pardon, my lord. Fewer than two. Oh, uh, right. Fewer than two towers being of any influence with the king. Present company accepted, of course. Mm. Uh, well, it seems to be uh, on reflection that, mm. that perhaps. Two towers won't suffice uh, artistically, you understand. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, um, could you manage three towers, do you think? Just the three, then, my lord. No, 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 not this again. What do you mean, just the three? Well, as you did speak of perhaps in the near future, expanding his ambitions, subject to acceptable quotations, of course, and the necessary planning permissions, to incorporate a third tower. Did he now? <laughs> um, perhaps on reflection. Uh, no. Yes, my lord? A fourth tower would be more um, aesthetically pleasing. Absolutely, my lord. And I shall uh, prepare you a quote on that directly.
Hastings never got past one tower. In 1483, Edward IV died and the Duke of Gloucester ascended to the throne of England, becoming Richard III. He had Hastings summarily executed for treason. Or perhaps for other reasons.